take you on a trip through the nickel nickel nine. I take you on a trip through the nickel nickel nine. I take you on a trip through the nickel nickel nine. I take you on a trip through the nickel nickel nine. I look at the casino as like my place of peace. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, like that's where I get away. It's like, a pace of peace, but it can turn into an unpeaceful place. In the no, world. like it's like my place of peace. Even when I lose, no, even when I lose, like that's still good to get away. Like, yeah, yeah. But you gotta go in there with like a mindset, knowing you gonna get whacked. Like, yeah, you're not going in there, like when you go to the casino. I'm not going. Oh, I'm gonna win ten thousand dollars, fifteen thousand like, dollars. Some people go to the strip club and just go. For sure. They go in there knowing like, yeah, I'm about to spend a couple hundred. Like, like, few hundred maybe a thousand like and leave out of there empty handed yeah, yeah. and it's like they come back you know? yeah, yeah yeah like you know JJ like when we used to be at Club One when it was downtown like bro we used to just go in there and have a good time you drink you eat you just have a good time you socialize it and you get to know the dealers you get to know the pit bosses you get to know the owners and not just the owners of that place but you get the owners of let's like, say like the Chico's or Bobby Salazar's or like the golf course people like you get to know people in there. you build the connections you, you build the connections in there you get what I mean like I didn't rub shoulders with a lot of people oh, like, yeah. the, like the guy that uh, on uh, Pismo's and Westwoods and all that yeah like sitting down with them talking real estate yeah like playing poker with them like it's all different type of like avenues inside that casino like yeah. you never know who you might run into got you got you a lot of times you meet weirdos <laughs> yeah, Taz got a friend in there. This dude is completely weird, bro. Like, it's it's different. Like, like going in there with Taz, like you either leave frustrated or you just leave laughing. Cause nigga, like, going in there with you, you either leave y'all frustrated. Me, y'all, been, y'all me cracking up in there though, man. Yeah, right. This is is weird. I remember you was on that old lady. Like at the table, you said she came. She was like, they sent her. She went over there yeah, like, foolish. Like exactly. paying real chick that's, that's, why, that's why, like blackjack with him, you don't do it. Like, yeah. there's no logic. Like, nah, nah. It's a lot of, like, slow-ass He really shit. think he'd be counting cards and shit. Like, that's the truth. But, but when I was like, never mind, I'm not going to do this with you. But, yeah, like, Taz is, like, physically not all the way there. Like, Who's a lot of people. Taz, I'm, I am a demigod. <laughs> a dummy god. That's what he meant. Like, so. I'm, I'm probably, like, like, Jesus. <laughs> what the? <laughs> me. <laughs> nah. So let me say this. So I've been gambling, let's say, knowing to have, knowing to gamble for almost like 16, 15 years. Started shooting dice in the bathroom yeah, and I stuff used to like shoot that. A lot of dice. And then like, um, like uh, my sister boyfriend, he used to go. I used to go with him to go shoot dice all the time. Burners, yeah. R.P. Burners, rest peace be upon him. But he used to show me how to shoot dice and stuff like that. But I don't really like shooting dice inside the casino because I feel like they got them like. You good? Yeah, go ahead. Oh, like, I don't like shooting dice inside the casino because I feel like they just, like, they got some trick dice in there or something like that. Mm -hmm. But, like, I've been gambling for a long time. And, like, the most I done won is probably, like, 7,000. Mm -hmm. At one time, 7,000. And then ever since then, bro, I just, I've been hooked. And it just all happened that shit, like, a girl I was talking to at the time, she went to the casino and played roulette. And uh, I used to just play blackjack, but I was started on roulette. But I figured, like, roulette, bro, you put $3 on one number a hit, that's $105. You put 5 on there, that's $175. $5? $175? Mm -hmm. I was hooked. So, like, that, that casino is just, like, bro, it's different in there, bro. It's the opportunity in there as well, right? Oh, like, man. You never know. You can, like you said, you waiting on that Royal Flush. Mm hmm So you betting a $700 hand, what will a Royal Flush get? No, nah, you can't bet a $700 hand. No, like the max, the max pad on the road yeah. flush at seven, club one is seventy thousand. Yeah, you said thirty thousand. Thirty thousand. So that's like uh, you put like the max on each thing. Yeah. No. Okay, so I'm just saying. So yeah, yeah, yeah. It's more like four bags. Can I tell you a story about the road flush that happened to me? Oh no. Uh, yeah. So I went fifteen hundred dollars, and me and like four guys that we always there with. He always. We were just talking about road flush. I was telling him I was like, I had a road flush one time playing poker in a tournament. I didn't even know I had it. Like I didn't even know. And uh, we just kept talking about cut time. So I'm about fifteen hundred. I was like, oh, I'm about to go. I'm just waiting on my food. So I'm still sitting at the table. A guy, he come and sit down. And literally, I swear to God, the next thing the dealer give him, I'm sitting down right here. So he sits down here, and she tried to give me the cards. Like, no, 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 I'm done. Like, I'm, I'm already. I'm just talking to him. You know, I'm waiting on my food. She give this guy uh, two cards. Everybody get two cards. So a ten come on the board. A queen. In a jack of hearts. So we talking about it and everybody's like, wait, somebody got a king or an ace of heart? Like they got a royal flush. So we everybody's checking in. 
Like the dude next to me, he don't speak no English. And he just bet, he just do the minimum bet. Turn over, he got a king of a, a king and an ace of heart in his hand. He didn't know what happened. We all he just like what? Like what? Like what? Like I don't know. And I was just like, yeah, bro, you got a royal flush. We all trying to explain him. Like, bro, you got the best hand ever in Boca. Like, you just won a lot, a lot of money. His wife comes over, bro, they start crying. And the dude's just like, he don't know what he got. I was like, I don't think he do. And she was saying, he just came over here to play while I was waiting on, uh, what's that, Pacquiao? Um, Baccarat? Baccarat. Yeah. His wife was playing Baccarat, and he just, she just sent them over there just to play, to kill time, while she was and he came over and everybody looking at the table like, you know, you just gave up. You would have won like 20. Bro, when I seen them crying and shit like that, I was like, bro, they needed that money way more than I did. Mm-hmm. Like, it was like, damn, bro. At first, I was like, damn. <laughs> I was like, nigga, did you just turn? <laughs> it was like, nah. Yeah, that's how you know it, niggas is really addicted to gambling, bro. Right? Nah. This nigga just turned this into a story. <laughs> nah, it's, it's the way it really happened. It's that's true. A fucking and I was just, story. nah, I'm just saying I was happy, though, because they didn't even, Brew didn't, Dog didn't even speak English. And when they came over there, like, yeah, gave him, like, the money and stuff, like, make sure he was good. And then he was like, sir, you want to keep playing here? He just like, no, oh, I want to go. <laughs> he was calling everybody. I was like, man, that's rough. That's yeah. raw, bro. So yeah. I mean, yeah. Then when the royal flush hit, bro, and like you said, you was up. You been playing for what? Two years up there, boy. No, at Club One. Oh yeah. Yeah, and like now I'm playing up there forever. I, I ain't gonna lie. When I hit this royal flush, my shirt coming off. I'm on top of the tables and some more shit. Like yeah, you definitely. Fuck all that. Like, and it's over from there. It's over. I'm done. Yeah. Bro, I hit every hand I'm supposed to hit, bro. Like I just that's the only one that's left. Yeah, I just wanna hit that hand. I'm done, bro. You hit a straight flush then? Yeah. Oh yeah. When I had a straight flush, flush with you on uh, oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, Fourth of July. Yeah, me and Mel, we told boy, we told Sack up. They told us something that we told them like, that was cool. Mm-hmm. Missed his birthday and some other shit for it. Missed the plan everything. Mm-hmm. Yeah, gambling is bad, man. Just hearing like shit is terrible, bro. How you, how you miss a plane to Vegas to go gamble in Sacramento? Bro, it was crazy. I called you. I told you what was going on. What the fuck? I, I told you, bro. I was up 2K within like an hour. Who needs enemies when you got friends like this? <laughs> the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> Niggas was bunkers. <laughs> bro, and when I tell you, I was like, bro, I, I don't even be mad at you if you did it. Can you tell them about your first time in Vegas, please? Nigga, I... I mean, not your first time, but the first time to come gamble down there when you just flew down there with me. Oh shit! It was cool. Like that's hey, a, another day at the office. No, nah, yeah. no, nah, it was in the regular day. He had a good day. It was another day at the office. Like that shit is that's gambling. Yeah, like. just like a different stadium. Yeah, that's that away game. Yeah, away game. You know. <laughs> All right, time. We got home games. We got away games. That was an away game. Like. So tell me, how did you feel about hitting on the on the machine? Oh, that was raw. That was raw. That's the thing with slots, though. Slots is like. Slots is just so unpredictable, like, but you never know what's gonna happen. Like, like it's crazy. That you, next spin can be like, bro, it's crazy. You hear, I'm thinking I won money. Tell me, Tessie, you won 20 bucks. Oh, yep, get me out of here. Yeah. Go to roulette. Like, this is bad. That's bro. what I'm saying. That roulette game, that shit's so stupid. It's really not, though, bro. It's really not, bro. It's like, not. you can really, bro, listen, let me tell you something. JJ was with me. I swear to God, bro. I was down like a thousand dollars. I put like twenty chips when we went to Vegas. Mm-hmm. I put a twenty dollar chip on there, double zero. Smack, brought me back. Like, bro, roulette is just like you. It's like the, to me, it's just like the slot machines because you don't like, like you can't, you don't know what numbers gonna hit. Like you don't know anything. And blackjack, you can almost like count the cards and see like our right, last hand, like hella kings came out. Mm-hmm. Like blackjack is to me the only thing you can really kind of like kind of control. Mm. The slot machines and roulette is because the ball is spin in and they're spin out. Mm-hmm. The slot machines, I don't know what it is. I seen one lady said that she won twenty million dollars and then she tried to go take it in. Did, did I show it to you? No. Like the lady said she won twenty million dollars on the thing. It said you win twenty million dollars. Then the security guards is like, oh no, that's a uh, that's a glitch. <laughs> the whole casino you know, would have been burned down. Ashes. <laughs> Nothing left. Like. I didn't have those times where I wanted to burn down the casino. So, so y'all, y'all taking a break from gambling. What's y'all substitute? What, what are you gonna do to substitute for that time? Because oh, oh, all the time y'all spent, 
Like y'all would be at the casino know. now, right now. Big facts. If yeah. you guys were not uh, in this gambling fast, you would be at Club One right now. Yeah. This moment, this very moment, having those uh, teriyaki Live. wings. Live. Live. I'd be having like shakes at night. Like, <laughs> like, like the chills. Like, man, man, you had a dream. Like body aching. Like, like, bro. Like, I'd be like, that shit's a. Let me ask you a question. Man. You still sports betting, right? Nah. Not even sports betting? I canceled my accounts. Not during this playoff time. Bro, I canceled my accounts. National championship? Bro, I canceled. JJ, I canceled the bitches. <laughs> bro, so. Let me ask you. Do you feel like your gambling habit is like worse than like smoking? Um, I'm never going to stop smoking. <laughs> like, that shit's out. Like, <laughs> only time I've ever stopped smoking is when I went to jail. Other than that, oh, okay, like, I'm yeah. not going to stop smoking. Like, the fuck is that for? Oh, okay, okay. But, um... Yeah, my, uh, man, it's bad, bro. Like, like I don't even be sleeping at night. Like, I'm a, I'm a night owl for real. So, yeah. like, bro, I'm telling you, I'll be, like, in the living room pacing. Like, bro, I'm just going to sneak over there $300 real quick. And it just, <laughs> you know what? Don't, you know? <laughs> tell yourself, like, all right, brother. Because you got to understand, like, nigga, I'll be, I be at the casino, like, like, I'll wake up in the middle of the night. Like, most people, like, They'll go make a snack or something. Like, I'll wake up in the middle of the night and drive to the casino. Like, it'll be like 4 in the morning, 5 in the morning. Like, oh, hey, Tosh. Well, what's up with it? Come on, open me up a table. Like, mm. bro, like when I knew it got bad, bro, it's like, I'll call him at like 6. I'm just leaving the airport. Hey, Tosh, you up? Like, shit, let's try, to, let's try to make this shit happen. All right, bro. Like, this, I get no argument on. Like, bro, you want to go to the casino? I get no argument, no nothing. I'm like, all right, bet. I'll meet you there. Like, it's, like, bro, it's kind of crazy. Like, they should shut the casino down for at least, like, eight hours a day. No, and that's the thing. Like, the casino, bro, casinos need their ass whooped. Because they do hella tricks to keep mm. you there, bro. Yeah. You, know, you ever notice there ain't no fucking windows in no casino? Mm-hmm. That's so that way you don't know what time it is at fucking, or if it's too late, or if it's, you've been. Because there's been times I've been there, get there at 11 o'clock at night, and leave that bitch at oh. 9 in the morning. Mm-hmm. And it's because I don't even realize that it's fucking dark, or it's morning time outside. We just did that. Like, bro, it's, it's, I'm telling you, bro. But it's bad, too. Let me tell you, no, let me tell you a story that's like, that'll trump all this. They gave me a penthouse for free for three days. Fat. I hear all the way on the other Vegas side. That's a scam. In Vegas, you complimentary everything. Go ahead. Bro, bro. They come nice. get me from the airport. They give me a room for free. Not even that. Hey, call the pit boss. Uh, yeah, okay. He need a, he need a room too. Oh, uh, yeah. He ain't got his idea. It's okay. You just put it on me. Like, literally. That kid show ass in Vegas. Bro, I swear. I'll go to the Orleans. They pull out red carpet. I don't pay for food, anything. Like, live here. Literally, they don't. Nigga, I had about sixty Red Bulls in a weekend, nigga, uh, for free, <laughs> nigga. Bro, I'm telling that you, that nigga bro. was in there taking shots of E and J. My bad. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> hey, we, you hit the E and J. I hit the. Oh, I just wanted E and J. I said Cavazier, cool though. I said Cavazier, whatever. Wear drink, bro. This is E and J. Hey, you know I usually do Jack and Coke. She didn't have Jack and Coke, but. Like yeah, that's some old school players. Like I'm saying though, yeah, Vegas is really like you said, bro. Yeah. I was like, cause in your mind, bro, you thinking like, oh shit, y'all come pick me up from the airport or right, some player shit. Yeah, it's so a like, scam. Like I was like, man, Taz, don't worry about nothing. Just come out here, bro. Just don't worry about nothing. And that's what it really be. Just pay for your plane ticket, and then when you get there, everything covered. No, they want you to fucking blow all your money on gambling. So that way you don't gotta work. What the fuck? That no. shit. No, that ain't the bad shit. Bro, the bad shit is when we be having to cash out people inside the casino. Be like, hey, bro, let us cash out you so we can get cash, bro. I don't think we should be saying this shit. This is a dick. Yeah, this dude sound like some addicting shit. Like bro, I story. swear to God, me, him, Mill was really, like, hey, bro, really let up. me cash out you. He was like, hey, Mike, let us cash out you, bro. Like, hey, do y'all got, like, we got to send people money because you know you have a limit on a day. Yeah. So we wait by 12 o'clock by the ATM like this. Like, bro, it's, it's, yeah, I'm, Same thank you, bro. God. Yeah. Like, I'm, I'm thanking God, bro. F- man, fuck these casinos, bro. Like, they won't see me, bro. They won't see me. They won't see me, bro. They gonna see me in a month. Well, hey, 
Best luck to you, bro. I hope you go in there and beat that ass, bro. Don't call me and tell me nothing. I don't want to be enticed. 30 days. 30 you days need that. You need that. Yeah. You deserve that. 30, yeah. days, I, 30 days, I feel like. I think I'm going to go sign myself out, too. So I can't even go in there. Oh, yeah. You can put your name on this board. Yeah. And then you won't be able to be allowed in there. Yeah. Mm. So, like, you can win money, but you can't cash it out. Yeah. Mm. So when they, when they run your name in the system, it'll pop up like, this nigga ain't supposed to be here. Depending on how much you in win. Every, in every casino. That's correct. No, no, no. If you sign out of Club 1, you just sign out of Club 1. It don't work for every casino. Oh, for real? Yeah. Oh. You can go sign myself out the But floor. you can sign yourself out and say, all right, sign myself out of Blackjack. Sign myself out of this. Like, or you can just like sign myself out the whole casino. Mm. They won't let you in at all. So I'll do that shit, and then they won't let Alonzo in either. <laughs> <laughs> That'll be crazy. Huh. Twins. You still gambling? Uh, he, he gambling. Yeah, yeah, he gambling. Yeah. But I think like yeah, you know, I left that gambling alone, man. They they didn't take checks from me, man. Yeah, I had man. We had JJ in there too, man. Yeah, like we used to have JJ John. They, take, they took checks from me, man. Like, seriously, when it was downtown, it was cracking up. Yeah, I was. I'm always been more of a solo gambler. Like I just be really what got me hooked. Like I've been shooting dice since I was probably like 13. Yeah. Like, Really shooting dice like grown men lashing and shit like they get ugly. Yeah. And if y'all watching this shit, y'all know what's up with me. Like it's a it's it was like 50, 40 year olds in my mama garage, like with my me and my young ass brother, like it used to be like twenty people in the garage, like really like big dice games every day. Like mm -hmm. I bought my first car off a dice game. Like mm -hmm. for real? Smacked the ass for twenty four hundred and went and bought a Mustang the next day. Oh, I know that motherfucker. Yeah. No engine. You crazy as fuck, <laughs> nigga. That motherfucker, that motherfucker was a runner for sure. Yeah. But went on my first car off the dice game. Like I've been, I've been gambling my whole life. Like I ain't never been scared mm -hmm. to gamble. Hey, let me ask you something. Like just out of all your your losses from last year, what you feel like you could have bought? Oh man, I could have bought. I could have bought. I could have bought all my bitches three Birkins a piece. Damn. Mm. Yeah, that nigga's all my bitches. I don't think he's gonna keep that. <laughs> that's, that's, that was wild. That's a wild statement. I'm trying to think of the number. For some reason, I thought like four. Yeah. I just I don't know, like four. <laughs> like four pops in my head. Yeah, for like, but no, it's a real shit. Like I could have really went and bought some major shit. That's why I think this year I'm gonna really like. Yeah, that's why. Cool I'm out, like, because like I ain't gonna lie, like during the pandemic. Like, you would think, like, oh, yeah, the casinos is closed. There's no way he can be gambling. Um, Home poker games. Yeah. Those are the worst fucking sh Nigga, look, my first home poker game I got invited to, bro. Bro, we pulled up at 8 o'clock at night. Bro, I didn't leave till 5 o'clock. No, 6 o'clock the next day. 6 p.m. 6 p.m.? 6 p.m., nigga. Hmm? You came yes. 8 p.m. and left, so that's Six, 22 hours? 22 hours straight playing poker, bro, getting whacked. Mm. But my first home game, bro, I lost like 7,000, like, <laughs> whacked, like. And then, like, but it, it's crazy because, like, I'll keep losing and, like, just pop back up, like. Mm. And I'm thinking they hitting me on some friendly shit, like, they fucking me as a person. I'm getting texts and shit like, pull up, bro, like, we have to whoop the whoop. Oh, all right, bet I'm on the way. Like, these are my friends. You <laughs> think? <laughs> no, I was a lick. <laughs> I was a D -link. fucking lick, bro. Yeah. No, D-Link. Man, I'm talking about, it was bad during the pandemic. I ain't gonna lie, like, no faking. I think I lost, like, the, the moment I gave up on poker, like, on home games, I did my books, bro. I was down, like, 45000 in a month. Mm. Just off playing poker mm. and getting whacked. Like, I was like, yeah. So we can say poker's not your strong suit. Yeah, no, nah, like poker against people, cause I, cause I don't be believing people. You don't got a, you don't got, you don't got a poker face. Or no, you don't I don't believe, believe in y'all shit. Oh, like y'all, you know me? Yeah, nah, you, you a capping ass nigga, like. But you better look at them three T-shirts I got. <laughs> tournaments, tournaments, bro. Anyway, <laughs> I'm turning me uh, up. Like I don't be believing people, so like they'll they'll think I'm. I, nah, I just fuck it. I'm gonna call you. Like we gonna see what you got. We know for you. Me. You don't see what's yeah. on the table or nothing. You just think like somebody bullshitting you. Yeah, you hold. So you didn't you didn't think after the first two three thousand dollars that they wasn't bullshit no more? Nah, because it was times where I'd be like I believe them, and then they'll flip over the bullshit. Oh, they was good. And it's like oh wow, like. Did you even have the nuts sometimes in the end? 
Nah, well, I mean, like, I'm sure, like, you gotta gamble a lot. So I'm pretty sure it was times where, uh, like, I, I had it, but it was just like. <laughs> it sounded like you didn't win any hands. <laughs> no, no, it, it was, it wasn't like, I ain't gonna lie to That's the crazy part. Like, it was never a night where I was, like, up, like, a crazy amount. Like, hmm. like I'll probably leave that bitch up, like, a couple of dollars or something, like. Maybe a thousand or two, mm. but like it was never a night where I was up like just ten thousand dollars or something like that. All the left. Was it cash game? Yep. Oh yeah. Mm. Getting smacked. You think they? Do you think it was a way that like they could have set you up like on some conspiracy shit? No, 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 no. It was like, like it's a couple uh doctors and lawyers and town <laughs> that I got some dirt on, so. They Stay definitely were setting this nigga up. No, but it was like it's like like bro, it's crazy like at a cash game, bro, like. You got like you. You got people in every world. Like yeah. you got doctors, lawyers, police. All, like that's how tangled this shit. is. Like poker, period, like, brings people in that type of injury. That shit crazy. Like, it, like I'm telling you, like, I'm I'm sitting in the room with like all like like real business people, and I'm just like, what the fuck? Like you got thugs? Like, yeah, you know, like what? You got thugs <laughs> play poker? On? No, like it, it just be crazy. Like, but it, it was though. It was some some new though. Like you, like the low lives and the high lives, like. Yeah. Cash is the only thing they care about. He says the low lights and the high lights. Like, I swear, it, bro. That's which one he was. Yeah. Like, should be wicked. That, that game yeah, dangerous. Yeah, that shit is dangerous, bro. Like, JJ, I'm happy that y'all don't gamble. Man, I sports bet not because it's slow. Like, you could wait. You, it's, it's, like the parlays and shit? It gives you some time. I ain't gonna lie. Like, sports bet and that shit. Man. <laughs> is, bad, is that like, bad for you, too, or? Then like you know, I closed my account because nigga I was I was like Taz you might really got a bad ass bro. I'm not you got like, hella avenues. Yeah, yeah like, like Taz you got hella like, avenues. You ever do any uh, online listen, online poker? Online blackjack. Online blackjack. Yeah. Like, but it's I, I ain't like I ain't ducking like nothing. Like, like I, you you game right? What you say? Like, play the game. Yeah. Like two K. You, you ever play uh Virgin Gaming? Where you can gamble online. Like drugs. Oh, yeah, yeah. I, I didn't play on websites like that. Not yeah. that specific one, but yeah. I, I didn't play on websites like that. Yeah. Like, their websites are set up, so. Yeah, you used to be able to play. Yeah, yeah. them shits are set ups, bro. Like, you, you really be playing against some real niggas. And yeah. Nah. I can, they know all like that tricky shit. Yeah, that shit. Like what? Like, like the cheese shit, like the. Like, the you know how you play Madden? You could play niggas, you could play for money online against like random niggas. Yeah. But them niggas be like. Niggas that do that shit all day for a living. Yeah, you'll beat the first nigga because it. Yeah. You know how Virgin Game used to work? Mm -hmm. You have like tiers, so you probably start at let's like, say five bucks. Mm -hmm. So you five, say you win the first game, you can get that five and just say fuck it, mm -hmm. or you can win the next game. Now you can get twenty, and then you go twenty to like fifty, fifty to a hundred. But a lot of shit, once you get to that twenty, you playing somebody that's crazy. Mm -hmm. Like you might win that first one. That first game because oh, you playing against somebody like you. It's no telling who you playing. But then right. once you get to them tiers. Like you playing somebody good, so you don't have to be on your game. And I was solid, but I can never get out. The highest I get is winning two games. Yeah, man. like once you get the higher and higher you get, it's more unbeatable. Like, like me, like far as my gambling, I gamble like I just bet like stupid shit. Like, man, like I bet oh shit, ain't nobody gonna knock on the door right now. Somebody <laughs> take the bet twenty bucks. Like I know like a team is down by like four touchdowns. I'm like, hey, come on, <coughs> sixty bucks. If it happened, I look like the crazy, like, oh, shit. But, like, I, I literally, like, bet on everything. But not, like, that, though. But Domino's and the casino is the only thing, like, major-wise. Like, Domino's, Domino games over here, <laughs> they didn't got tricked. that's cool because at least you're losing money to the homies. I'd rather lose money to them. I'd rather lose money to them. And, like, dog, what's crazy is, like, we used to play for only, like, 20 bucks, 50 bucks. I don't know where the fuck Bill Gates and... Donald Trump and them start coming here and playing, but like these games is like so like weird now. Like T Pack got a fucking thing where if you win by a hundred, mm -hmm. is it a hundred? No, by fifty. Mm -hmm. If you win by fifty, it's a hundred dollar game now, mm -hmm. not a, just a regular fifty dollar game. So if you lose three games here, nigga, you're already down three hundred dollars. Yeah. Like it's just, and that's another thing too. Like I'm about to cut back on too. Like niggas be like. These domino games. Is yeah, you in debt right now. I think y'all need like a set of rules written and like thumbtack it to, to yeah, the wall. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I think what from being a spectator to y'all domino games, I think a lot of the rules are kind of like they look yeah, they the wobblers. Yeah, they 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 only do rules when they want to do rules. So like y'all y'all need a set of rules 
one about wow, fifteen rules. Just put that thumbtack up there and just keep they, it. I'm really the rules visible. One, I'm the rollers one in dominoes. And Ken, you can contest it too. Yeah. Who? Yeah. Kenny. Kenny Jones, man. Oh, okay. He said he was a good domino player. I don't okay. think he is, though. Anybody want to smoke at dominoes, man, they know what's up with me, bro. <laughs> I ain't nah, he, nothing. No, he really is trash. Like, he really is terrible. They, he be getting lucky. They do, like, this team shit. Him and t Pack. they do teams where they team up against me and shit like that. Like, they they weird. Oh, yeah, let me win one game, and then I'll get the one game. He really be like, bro, do you really want to win? All right, let me do this. Like, they weird. I, I ain't going to play them no more. So. That little best friend shit is gone.